Hello guys, welcome back. So I just want to hop on here real quick to tell y'all the good news. I don't know if y'all remember this video right here. This video was a beautiful video. It was a surprise video for me. I also want to thank you guys so much for all the positivity on that video. Um, so many positive comments. I read, I think, almost every single one of them. I'm so grateful for it. So we are playing our wedding now. So just a little bit of details about the wedding. It's going to be in Ghana. Okay. It's going to be in Ghana. We're going to have um, the Akon traditional wedding and we're going to have the American traditional wedding. Um, the reason I wanted to do that is because just to signify to people, two different people come from different backgrounds coming together. That's why I wanted to do that. I like to call this wedding a DIY wedding because in DIY literally everything. So that means we're taking most of, most of our wedding decorations to, well actually we're taking all of our wedding decorations on the plane to Ghana. So that's going to be interesting because we have a lot to haul. It's going to be, it's going to be something. So yeah but if you guys are interested in all of that all, like the wedding process and everything just let me know in the comments below so i can make some more videos about how i'm DIYing everything and how i'm getting everything planned from america to ghana i'm gonna go ahead and get into the tips for a long distance relationship number two is plan little date nights like, take an hour or two to watch a movie together read a book together do something active together say for example we, <laughs> we like to watch something together because reason number one we're doing something together Reason number two is we're learning something together. It's we're learning something that's gonna build our relationship together. Tip number four is men love notes to each other. Yeah, men love notes to each other. Men love gifts to each other. Me and my fiance, we used to do that like once or twice a year. We would just send little notes to, to each other, little gifts, and then like. Whenever you're coming home from work or wherever you're coming from, you see a little package from your significant other. And it's like, oh, like, this is so cute. Like, oh, he was thinking about me. Oh, he sent this way, all the way from God. I'm like, oh, it's cute, y'all. It's cute. Like, trust me, your partner is going to love that. So, that's a little something to tuck away, okay? But now, y'all, my last, the favorite, most favorite tip. This is... Some, this is this tip is more in towards intercultural couples, okay? Make this simple. My fiance is the man. So, so what I like to do is I like to learn his language. I like to you know, surprise him and cook food that he didn't even know I knew about. <laughs> Are you, oh, okay. you wanna be all things? Yeah, I <laughs> Okay, since the Beatles go, I gotta go. <laughs> okay. That's right, that's right. <laughs> I want to try. Take time to learn or like listen to songs that he likes or listen to songs and trees so it can help me with my learn the language process and just it shows your partner that you appreciate his culture. Surprise him with cooking his native food. Surprise him with saying something in his native tongue. He's going to, he or she's going to love that. That's part one line number one tips for intercultural couples but that is all that i have for you guys thank you guys so much for watching